Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Murky Meg here. Hasn't it been an interesting few days? Hello, everybody. And today I'm going to be talking about the hostage and his handler, i.e. Meghan and Harry. Now, they were out and about, raving it up all weekend. On Friday, they went to a Beyonce concert in LA. Honestly, it was one of the most hilarious pieces of videos that I have seen in a long time. I wasn't going to post the video due to copyright strike, but shall I risk it? I can do it without the sound, so shall we do it? Ah, let's risk it, shall we? Here we go. Here she is, bopping away, giving it a wiggle. Apparently this was when Cuff It was on Beyonce. I have no idea, but yeah, yeah. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. (laughs) Woohoo! The video footage is hilarious. She looks like she's having a stroke. She was there in a VIP box. She was with her mother, Doria, Guanavive Hills and her husband and Abigail Spencer. Now, what happened was that footage was released and Harry looked utterly miserable. I mean, more miserable than we've ever seen him before. Just look at the photos. He looks like he's got a slapped bum. He really, really does. He just looks or looked utterly miserable. And of course, this was like lighting the touch paper and it igniting. Media went wild, suggesting that Harry is miserable and that he wasn't enjoying himself. While Meghan and her mother danced the night away. Hands in his pockets, face like thunder, and it reverberated around the world. Because he had a face like a slapped bum and she has been seen in videos absolutely ripping it up, dancing, quite frankly, like a chicken. The contrast between the two of her absolutely having a ball, which, come on, let's face it, it's all for PR, and him looking miserable as ever, has made people speculate quite considerably. Now, it's interesting, there is an amazing Twitter account called Bark Jack. Now, unfortunately, like me, they got their original account shut down and never got it back again. So I'm always there to try and uplift them. They are a very well-connected team and they have been well-connected for a very long time and they come up with some amazing tea. And I have to say, they're pretty spot on most of the time. They posted that the wife is deeply embarrassed about the dancing photos. They continue that their PR team uses hundreds of misleading accounts representative of their target audience. You will notice their online infantry attempt to praise the dance moves. Their online support network, which is entirely misleading, has been in overdrive, attempting to trend their self-made hashtag Good King Harry. Sorry. And to compliment her dancing. They are also flooding the internet with clips of the pair looking happier than what hit the press. And this is the key. As soon as those pictures went out and everybody was like, oh my God, look at the contrast of him looking miserable and her dancing her pants off, things started to shift. And more and more photos and videos were released of them looking loved up. And it's very interesting to see that one of the pro accounts that were very positive towards Meghan and Harry only got their ticket a few days earlier that was a gift. That got me thinking, isn't it funny how somebody just happens to land a Beyonce ticket right in front of Harry and Meghan and posts about it? Now, a lot of people have suggested, why would she agree to release the footage of the video dancing like a loon if she was then going to be embarrassed about it. Well, quite frankly, this is my take on it. I think she thought that she looked the bee's knees and that this was proving to the world that she's free, happy, contented and living her best life. You see, the mind of a narcissist is a very tricky thing to understand. They honestly have such a deluded grandiosity or an excessive sense of self-importance, that they are powerful, successful, beautiful, and they are the only thing that matters. But more importantly, they are vain. 
If she was aware that a video was being taken, which I'm sure she would have been in my opinion, she would have thought that she looked fantastic. And she would have been well aware that she would be putting out into the world that she is living her best life. Unfortunately for her, it's backfired and she's become a laughing stock because that's what's happened. The only people that are really praising her are the squad and weird sycophantical fans. The rest of us are comparing the two very polar opposite images of her dancing like a weirdo and Harry looking absolutely miserable. But it's funny that all of a sudden, once these were flooded on social media of the two polar opposite situations, all of a sudden photos and videos of them looking loved up started to appear. That's a bit weird, isn't it? I firmly believe that this is a PR push for them to be in the spotlight more. It's my belief that she knew that she was being videoed and she absolutely loved it. And another very strange thing is that right in the epicentre of the concert were the real A-listers. Now they were with Beyonce's husband, Jay-Z, and they were right in the very centre with Tyler Perry, who is, I believe, Lilibet's godparent, or so we've been informed. Isn't it funny that the A-listers are surrounded by Beyonce's husband, Jay-Z, and Meghan and Harry are in the nosebleed seats. Now, social media would lead you to believe that, oh my God, it was a VIP area that they're in. No, it wasn't. Yes, they were in a box, but it wasn't a massive VIP area. There was one section on the very floor where the majority of the celebs were. That's for $77,000 per ticket. The seats that Harry and Meghan were in, Anybody could buy them. Those are just seats in a box. Nothing special about them. So why weren't they in that section? Because you know that they would have jumped at the chance. Then comes Sunday. Now in Los Angeles on Sunday, there was a big football match. This was Inter Miami and Los Angeles Football Club, or soccer as you call it, but it's football. I'm English, so I have to say football. A huge amount of celebrities came out and were pictured at the event, including Harry. Now, he looked ecstatic. He looked like a child in a sweet shop. He was giggling, he was cheering, he was being silly. He was lit up like a Christmas tree. He really, really was. Now, take that photo and this photo, it's worlds apart. And then that's got a lot of people suggesting, why on earth is Harry so miserable when he's around Meghan? Why does he look like a face of thunder when he's with her and he's like a child in a sweet shop when he's not. A lot of people asked where on earth was Meghan Markle and she was supposed to be there because the VIP guest list was published by Los Angeles Football Club and here it is. Look everybody, they're there. Prince Harry is there and Meghan Markle is there. Why didn't she turn up? Now, Crazy Days and Nights posted a blind yesterday that said the illiterate one was on a very long guest list for the soccer game. Instead of attending the game with her husband, she had dinner with a friend of this A-list actress sometime director. A lot of people are suggesting it's Olivia Wilde. Who knows? There was no pap shot, so unless photos were taken, it didn't happen. But why wasn't she there? She was on the guest list, and for me personally, that's really quite bad form. If she's on the VIP guest list and she doesn't turn up, that's really quite a slap in the face, isn't it? However, two glaringly obvious things with regard to that VIP list. Their names, Prince Harry, Meghan Markle. There's no Duke and Duchess titles at all. They are just regular old Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And the fact that everybody else on that list has what they do, their occupation, except Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Their job titles are blank. Everybody else has a job title except them. Now, a lot of people would say, well, they don't need it. Everybody knows what they do. Uh, please explain what they do. Exactly what do they do? So no job titles and no actual titles. <laughs> Is that the Beckham shade? Because, you know, David Beckham is the co-owner of Inter Miami. And we all know that there's some beef between Victoria Beckham and Meghan Markle. It's been all over the place. According to newspapers, apparently Meghan and Prince Harry were hit by claims that they accused the Beckhams of leaking stories to the media. And I don't think Victoria and David would like that very much. 
is this shade towards the Harcourts by Beckham himself and said, ah, no, nah, let's not call them Duke and Duchess and let's keep them separate and just call her Meghan Markle because that's exactly what she is. It's beautiful shade either way, isn't it? I'd like to draw your attention to just one thing. I'm going to go back to the Beyonce concert. Apparently, the brief from Beyonce was to wear silver. Meghan wore silver, Doria did, so did Abigail Spencer, but Harry was dressed in a silver blazer. It was a woman's blazer. He was wearing his wife's blazer. Oh, Harry, 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 how the mighty have fallen. Once royalty wearing your military titles, you are now subjected to wearing your wife's blazer. <sighs> so I would love to know what you think about all of this. Was it a PR stunt at the Beyonce concert? Why weren't they with the rest of the VIPs right at the very front with Beyonce's husband, Jay-Z, and all the other celebs? Why were they in the nosebleed seats? Yes, they were a box but anybody could buy them. They were surrounded by plebs. And isn't it funny that photos were everywhere at the Beyonce concert, but not a single photo of her attending Taylor Swift. Do you want to know why? Because it didn't happen. It's my opinion she never attended the Taylor Swift concert because otherwise she would have been spotted like she was spotted at the Beyonce concert. What's with all the nonsense of the media suddenly rushing that the pictures of Harry looking miserable. And then once that hit, everybody was like, actually, no, no, he looks happy in this photo. He looks happy in this photo. He's dancing in this photo. PR strategy is not working, I'm afraid, Megan. It really, really isn't. Your husband looks absolutely miserable. And when he's not with you, he looks ecstatic. Do you think that's the case? Do you think that he feels completely free when he's not with Megan, so therefore he can enjoy himself? And what's with the VIP guest list for the football game? Why on earth did they have no titles, Duke and Duchess? Well, you know, quite rightfully, they don't use them. And why did they have no job title either? Is that shade from Beckham? Or do you just think they don't need titles? And one final thing to finish off with the video, what should their titles have read on that VIP guest list? Professional whingers? Professional victims? As always, let me know in the comments.